All right, everybody, we're going to be watching this Moto Stars video. Uh, remember, this is an after action review, so we're going to kind of go over the crashes, trying to figure out what happened, how it happened, how we can prevent it for ourselves. It's always good to learn from other people's mistakes. Hello, everyone. Today I've got another Bikers in Trouble episode for you. It's okay. To learn from the mistakes of others, so check okay. this out. Okay. You're right, Moto Stars. So I know this is an older video. This is over three months ago. I've been on break. So what happened here? What do you guys think? Write in the comments. Obviously, it was a low side. So, oh yeah, we got buttons, huh? Yeah, obviously it was a low side. I uh, went down on the right side in the corner. Yeah, I'm all right. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at this. So he's coming up to here. Now, what's one thing that we got to really watch out? Now, we always talk about planning your ride. So position for safety, locating hazardous situations, assessing, navigating. Well, what's a, what's a hazardous situation here? Well, we can't see really well around this corner. Okay, so we have a line of sight issue. Okay, we can't see around this corner. Well, here's what we're doing is that we're looking. Let's go ahead and delete that real quick. We're looking right here consistently. But then what I'm doing is I'm constantly scanning back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to see if there's any gravel. So we see loss of traction, he crash, panic front brake, uh, you know, gra so, okay, gravel. And then also maybe on the line. So the paint lines can be a little uh, slick, um, especially if it's just been raining and they don't put that granular stuff. Hey, Car Geek, welcome to the crew. Totally a noob, just gifted five memberships. We're going to see this. Five more or four more on that. Appreciate that. Safe. So he went a little bit wide though. Let's take a look. It's good to learn from the mistakes of others. So check this out. So he's going here. Okay, so somebody said panic braking. Can it, remember a crash is a it's a combination of multiple different factors. Multiple different factors in one. So gravel in of itself, not an issue. Gravel in a turn can be an issue. Gravel in a turn and then uh, applying too much front brake definitely can be an issue. Gravel in a turn. Applying the front brake and having bald tires, you see how it, those things can lead into crashes. So when you know that stuff, uh, check your tires. Make sure you aren't slamming the brakes. Make sure that in the turns you're looking for gravel. You see how you can start now um, picking out what you can and can't do. So I appreciate that. Totally not a noob with the five. And then gnarly Davidson, welcome to the crew. It's good to learn from the mistakes. Welcome. The Clicking that join so button. Right safe. So I have a feeling that he started going a little bit wide, got a little bit wide and panicked. You notice how we can see where we need to go. So at this point, you, know, you start to panic. You start looking towards the outside. You start looking this way. You start going that way. Oh, crap. You slam that front brake. If we just focus ourselves, like if you look at this and you're like, oh, no, I'm looking that way. Or, oh, no, I'm about to crash. Really focus yourself. Get a little bit, maybe a little bit of anger. I don't know what's fear, whatever it is, that, that emotion that's driving some thoughts of, oh, no. Once you figure that out, once you get that trigger, really start to like, oh, no, I'm going to crash. Wait, no, I need to focus here. And you start staring at where you need to go. So you start looking at this, you get that fear. That fear is a trigger into saying, look back over here and commit. So instead of slamming the brakes, what you're doing is actually committing, putting your body into that, uh, that proper language to get yourself going that way. This was a mistake. Panic broke. Panic breaking. Dumps the bike. We have mechanisms of injury that we could possibly have, you know, with the right shoulder, right elbow, right hip. Thankfully, he's walking wounded. Not the biggest of deals. Um, problem is, is now that we have a damaged bike and maybe damaged ego. Not a lot of fun. Not a lot of fun. Let's move on to this one. I appreciate it. Yeah. Here we go. Mr. Homer fives it. What's a, what's a hazard here? Okay, we have line of sight issues. Maybe somebody. There you go. Good job recognizing that this could be something. What are you doing? Don't get too mad. Now we're blocking traffic. Now we're we're still in the flow. We have some issues. He was still going to do it anyways. He wants to get off on that exit. Okay. So, the emotional stuff, yeah, sure, you know, but maybe keep it in your head. Don't don't escalate the situation. Um we're going to skip these ads. YouTube put some stuff on here. Anyways. So, we're coming up to here. Let's go back. We have an issue here, so our escape paths aren't going to be the best. We can't swerve left, we can't swerve right very well because, you know, we have vehicles in the way. So what we have here uh, for our planning our ride, right, our at navigating active threats, what we can actually do is do really good progressive braking. So really good progressive braking, we're going to treat it more like an emergency. There we go, finally. Uh, treat it more like an emergency. When you squeeze, you start getting a little bit of weight on the front tire, you can squeeze even more. That's all we really can do, that and acceleration. But if there's a car pulling out in front of us, we're kind of screwed. One thing we want to watch out for when we're uh, lane filtering is these big open gaps where people can merge into. And if you notice, when we get closer to the Tesla, 
there's a big open gap. So once you see that open gap from far away, remember we were talking about uh, locating hazard situations. We are in one, but we need to assess if there's any relevant threats. Okay, right now there's no relevant threats, but there's an opportunity for a relevant threat when we get closer and closer to these big gaps. So it's very easy to see that he is crossing. So our line of sight has been broken. So when it comes to that, we know that there's going to be something in front of us. So we have to start doing something. So applying the brakes and doing that. We're getting up to here. There's that gap. Okay, so he moved over. Rev bombing's not going to help you in a situation. You want to break. Now here, let's skip past this part. Right here we have traffic. Okay, you let him go. Just let him go so you can go because we have cars behind us. We don't know if those cars are going to stop and pay attention. So once we solve one problem, let's not create others. So we're looking to the right, but, you know, who knows? Maybe that black car can turn left in front of us. We have an open lane pattern there. All right, two-wheel therapy. Okay, this vehicle's in front. Oh, dog! So there you go. Good job slowing it down. Slowing it down, recognizing it. Okay, now accelerate. Now accelerate and get yourself out of there. Look forward so that you go in where you need to go. Oh, we went off road. Got a little bit of uh, some brush. Thankfully, we have uh, a helmet. Did he have a GoPro on his? Did it fall off? Got very lucky. Got very lucky. Why do you think that would have happened? Let's get over here. Why do you think that's happening? So when we're talking about uh, riding your own ride when it comes to group riding, you know, passing, right? We're passing our buddies trying to go fast. When you go faster or when you have high speed or you increase your speed in a turn, you're going to go wide. When you decrease your speed in a turn, you're going to go in, okay? So that's why trail braking is so, so important or that's why going slow is so important, but trail braking can definitely help you actually turn in quicker because... That's that's what's going to happen. If you accelerate, you're going to go wide. It wants to stand it up straight. So when we're going wide, it's because we're trying to accelerate around our buddies. Let's go ahead and uh, take it easy because that could have been a lot worse. A lot worse. All right, ride three. Here we go. From this cyclist to a These cyclists are just... Get out of control. Get out of his way. Get out of the way now. Yeah, get out of the way. What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> That's easy to take off. I'm put in front of me, bro, because you're threatening me. Don't say something. Come here. I don't know what the... So at this point, you can just leave. The, the ego on, on some of these people are pretty dumb. I'm not going to watch uh, Road Rage. So once you get into a situation where you can just, like, leave the situation, just leave. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. I, I get it, you know. Ego's a little bit bruised. You want to, like, uh, testosterone's kind of going up a little bit. Emotions start going up. Just leave. All right. Here we go. Nice little scooter. Let's get some real gloves. Little roundabouts. So remember, this is orange stage. We're a little bit prepped and ready for anybody coming out. He's looking. He's looking. Bro. Ooh. Oh, come on, man. Got lucky. Bro. What? Did she flip him off? Just go. Let him let him do let him uh let him get pissed. So people don't know how to use roundabouts here in America. And if you notice the the signage right here, the in the internal one is uh to turn left. I don't even know, I don't put arrows where the arrows are. And the outer one is to continue going. So we're getting up to here. Same thing. Now we can go straight. You're supposed to be following the arrow, or uh, supposed to be following the check marks. So that's where they're supposed to go. That's what they're supposed to do. We're supposed to do this. And so when people cut across like that, just be very careful. Make sure we're not intersecting. Pay attention. And it's exactly what this guy did. Bro, bro, come on, man. Bro. They were both supposed to exit what? on that. Idiot. Here we go. Too fast, too soon. Here we go. We got side of the vehicle right there. You guys noticed that. Joy. 
you guys notice that? We should notice that too. Let's take a quick look at this. Okay, so remember, we're riding around. We're having a good time. We're going to talk about the MTC awareness stages. We're riding around. We're in yellow stage. We're zoned in, paying attention, making sure that we understand like where people are at. Uh, but we're not we're not super panicked because remember we're planning our rides. We're always consistently positioning for safety. We're looking for good line of sight, good space cushions, and our escape paths. Okay, we're locating hazardous situations. This is an intersection. This is pretty hazardous. It can be. Let's bring let's bring that back up. But we need to assess any relevant threats. And whenever I see, whenever I see this in an intersection, I go into orange stage. Okay, that's why it's orange, and that's why the A is orange. Now he's not pulling out. This car driver is not pulling out yet. Okay, so it's not a real th threat threat. It's not an active threat. Remember, we got to navigate those active ones. We're assessing if this is something relevant. And it's relevant because it can pull out in front of us. There's a lot going on in your head when you're riding. Okay, so this is a little bit past when you have your foundational exercises done, when you know friction zone, throttle control, how to do turns, how to actually manip manipulate the bike. So this is more of that uh, prefrontal cortex type stuff. This is more of the, the higher thinking strategies type stuff. That's why we're going to come up with the strategy guide. Uh, but yeah, we're coming up to here. All of a sudden, they start moving. Okay, so at this point, all we can really do is progressively brake to slow it down so we can um, increase that space cushion time. Okay, this is our space cushion. So we're braking, 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 braking. Hopefully, this person's past us by the time we get to here. But if we're just accelerating, you know, like we see some people accelerate so they can flip them off and get closer and, because GoPros, you know, they're further than they look or closer than they look. Um, Let's slow it down because once we slow it down, we're slowing it down, slowing it down. When this person goes, we might have an opportunity to swerve right. Because remember, we have two different things we can do in red stage. We can swerve. No, we have multiple things. Sorry. We can swerve. We can brake or accelerate. Uh, so we want to get ourselves out of here. But we're looking for that escape path. And our escape path is going to be on the right side. Exactly what he did. Exactly what this rider did. Slowed it down. Swerved to the right. But here's the thing. When you take your hands off a primary control, which is a handlebar or a clutch, um, you're opening yourselves up to a less, uh, let me think of these words, um, you're less efficient in your, in your swerve. Okay, If you needed to swerve, you're not going to be able to swerve super hard with just one hand. So what, right, what we have right here is that escape path, but we need to also swerve left. So until we're past the danger, don't do anything. Don't do anything like this. Just make sure that you're actually getting yourself out of this dangerous situation first. How you doing, Organic Grow? Uh, the Rogue Redneck. Interesting. Okay, we're, oh, there you go. Good swerve. So exactly what I was just talking about. Exactly what I was just talking about. Did exactly that. So we're coming up to here. Okay, so we're intersection, orange stage. We're prepped and ready for everything. We see somebody right in front of us. Let's get what, get out of the way. There we go. We have somebody right in front of us, right next to the 512. 512, why did I say it like that? 512. Somebody right in front of us. He's already positioned to start swerving to the other side. Now, we don't want to accelerate and swerve because we're going to probably hit the back of this vehicle because motorcycles, can, I mean, it's an Indian Scout. It's a great bike. Uh, it's probably a Scout Bobber. He's got a quad lock going on right there. It's pretty nice. Um, anyways, <laughs> we don't want to accelerate too hard because we're going to probably run into the back of that. So he's going to go ahead and just move over. Now we're in a good spot again. Reposition for safety. Remember, position for safety. Now we're behind the white vehicle. Space cushion, right? We have a better space cushion to the left. And now we have a better space cushion line of sight. Can't really see much of the camera angle. is not the best. but And then he has time to wave for the other motorcycles. This is a really good situation. Um, really good job swerving. Really good, good job getting themselves out of this. Love it. Love it. Let's take a look. One of these bikes definitely of intersection. His ability red. Right in two break, 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 break. With too much throttle in the corner, and this bike is right in a spectacular way. Ooh, so a little bit too much throttle. <laughs> Dump the bike. They're talking on some Hot Cardos. Up. Link in the description for a Cardo Pack Talk. This one, this one. This one. Right. So remember, remain calm. Ensure your own safety. We don't want to get hit ourselves. If there's any major bleeds, stop it. Quickly assess the severity. Okay, there's the, the symptoms of something that you can do. There you go. Side stand down because we're going to lift the bike up. So control traffic a little bit if you can. 
<laughs> Seems like the rider's doing fine, so that's good. Look at the bike damage, that sucks. Let's get the bike off the road. Good job parking the bike. That was really good. So why do you think this rider crashed, okay? Why do you think they crashed? Now gravel, it looks like a pretty good tread on the tires. In the corner. Why do you think they crashed? This is gonna be a little quick quiz for you guys. Write it in the comments, I'm not gonna say. But we're coming up to here, let's go. I screwed that up for you guys. I want you guys to watch it one more time. Why do you think they crashed? Write it in the comments. Cold tires? I'm just reading the comments right here. But uh, good job positioning so that we can help out the rider. We talk about mechanism injury. So what side of the rider do you think uh, got damaged in the crash? Right there. What kind of injuries do you think we might be having? Write that in the comments. This is, good. This is your quiz. Mid-video quiz. Especially with no gear, well, no pants and, and boots. So it looks like a motorcycle jacket, so that's good. The armor really helped out there. Here we go. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Holy. Is this a one-way? Yeah, it's a one-way. So we're turning, <laughs> we're turning left off the right lane. Not good. Not good. Got very lucky there. So once again, we're coming up to an intersection, right? We have a weirdo with the brake lights on the right side. We don't know if they're turning right, turning left. Kind of gives you that weird feeling. So let's go into orange stage. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, we will talk about the MTC awareness stages. Um, but yeah, this is a orange stage where we're prepped and ready for something. We're covering our brakes. At this point, braking or swerving is not, I mean, maybe swerving left can help, but braking is not going to be the, the best thing we can do. Accelerating hard, and by accelerating hard, I mean giving it like an extra two points. You know, boom, you know, two out of ten. Two points. Get yourself out of there is really important. Totally new with the donation, $50 donation. Thank you so much. I want to thank you for everything you do. I was out with my boss about two months ago, and he went down pretty bad, so I started finding educational videos to make us safer in the future. I found your channel. I can say no one does it better. Totally not a noob. Thank you so much. $50 donation. Wow. Holy. Thank you so much. Yeah, remember to position yourself for safety, locate this hazardous situation, and assess if it's a relevant threat, and navigate. And, and this one is a good uh, escape path forward with some acceleration. Here we go. Martin Gold getting through here. Ooh, uncommon thing in a common situation. We got headlights in front of us. Good job slowing it down and moving over. I'm glad you're doing fine. Totally not a noob. Hopefully, you're, uh, remember, we have the Academy, but we got home. Oh, we had a passenger, too. Uh, just keep watching all these videos. We're, we're back at it this year. Took a three-month break. Oh, can't do much there. So with the deer, there's not much you can do, right? There's not much you can do. So if we can avoid it, there it is. <laughs> I forgot I had that emoji. If we can avoid it, that's great. If we can swerve out of the way, that's great. But typically with deer, not much you can do. So what is it that we can do when it comes to the smart rider principles? We can acquire and use personal protective equipment. Let's get head-to-toe gear, guys. Head-to-toe, full face, gloves, jacket, pants, and boots. Just in case. Just in case. Because, man, it's going to suck if you crash into the ground because of that. And there's nothing you could have done. Avon, here we go. Oh! Is that a trash panda? It is a trash panda. <laughs> uh, you can run those over. I'm not saying you should, but it's a small enough animal, so if you blip the throttle, your front suspension will go up just a little bit. You might be able to go over it, but best case scenario, you try to avoid everything. Just like that. Nice little swerve. Jeez. Unlucky rider. Here we go. The bikers lead to quite a uh, Okay. That's not definitely safe. There's a trash can right there. Swerve. Swerve. Oh. Good job with the braking. That could have been a lot worse. Try not passing on the right. The trash panda probably just came from your attic, Viking. <laughs> you guys are absolutely wild. Go ahead and grab yourself a donut. Uh, make sure you guys are being safe on the road, but let's keep watching this, okay? Let's keep watching. All right. Nice little swerve. Okay, what was the pattern there? I know you guys missed it. Let's take a look at this. What's the pattern here? Write it in the comments. We, we talked about it a lot. 
Um, it's been a couple months. I know. Well, let's refresh each other's memories here. What's the pattern that we're seeing? Uh, open lane, open lane. There's a gap. Open lane pattern. So what we typically see here, guys, thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me here. We have a lot of cars stacked up. Okay, just think about it. If there's two lines, wherever you go, walking, just like you're, you're getting, you're ready to get some donuts. Okay, there's two opportunities, two lines, but one line is absolutely full. It's just like this. And you decide to stand in that line. But you keep wondering, it's like the people keep getting in this other lane, this other line, and they're getting their stuff and leaving. What are you going to do? You're just going to get in that line, right? You're going to switch over. Same thing with traffic. Same thing with traffic here. You're going to get over. Somebody is going to want to get over. Now, when we're in this lane, it's not as a matter of like, oh, here, let me get in front of you so I can get a donut. No, it's like, here, let me get in front of you, and I'm going to go like five miles an hour switching this lane while you're going 45. You're on a motorcycle. You hit having some issues, you can possibly die. So when we see this, and we're the ones traveling in this lane, we got to watch out for these people. Because when they do come out, we're going to have to do something. We're going to have to go into red stage. We're going to have to swerve. We're going to have to do whatever. But right now, what's happening is that we are in, um, we're in orange stage because we see that this is a hazardous situation because somebody can come out. And this can be the same thing for when you're driving, same thing when you're riding a motorcycle, riding a bicycle, whatever it is, getting in line for donuts. Whatever it is, always pay attention to that. It's an open lane pattern. It is something that can happen, or a, it's a dangerous situation because this can happen. So thankfully you saw it. How can we minimize um, some of the issues with that is that we talk about positioning for safety, right? So if we're off on this part of the lane, very easy, get right in front of us and have an issue. If we're in the middle of the lane, okay, pretty good. Not too bad. We still have some opportunities. Whenever I see this, okay, whenever I see this, what I'm doing is I'm off on the right. That's going to give me an opportunity to switch over quicker. It's going to give this big space cushion between me and the dum dum that's going to switch over just in case. And then when it gets back to normal, I'm going back into the middle. And it all really depends. Remember, when we talk about positions for safety, what are we looking for? Good line of sight. Okay, we have to have really good line of sight. We want to make sure we have good space cushions and we want to have uh, at least one escape path. Those are the things we're looking for when it comes to positioning for safety. But great job on the swerve. Great job on the swerve. Switched over. Switched back. But be careful of all the other ones. Is he uh, delivering some food? Yeah, yeah, they're acting dumb. Move on. You're in, you're, you're in traffic. You're in traffic. Clone biker. Here we go. Okay, intersection. Stop sign. They crossed over. That's such a weird intersection because technically you're supposed to stop at the stop sign, right? Not the line. You're supposed to stop here. I think by law. I don't know. It's been. A, it's been. I should probably. I should probably reread. But I know like the white line right there. You're supposed to stop before that. It's. It's is a stop sign should be way up there. Anyways, truck coming over. Saw it. Remember intersections, orange stage. We're prepped and ready. Anyways, we're slowing down. Anyways. Uh, do I have anything for those that are on a diet? No, sorry. Donuts is all we got. There's no diets on Thursdays, right? I don't know who came up with that. I think I just did. Uh, so right here, what are you guys thinking for position for safety? Is this a good position? What is it that he has? Ooh, ooh, I don't like this. Yeah, slow it down. Switch lanes, get a better position. Now we can see, there you go. I like that position better. Switch lanes. Move on. Tailgating too close. So well, we just talked about position for safety. Look, we have our speedo blurred, right? And now it's not because we're going the speed limit. Come on, guys. Um, so it was behind him for a while at this point. Okay, cool. So when I was talking about uh, position for safety, okay, what I'm talking about is we want space cushions. So this is our space cushion. Okay, not a lot, especially at this speed. Not a lot at this speed. Takes about a second to react and a second, or I'm sorry, a second to perceive and a second to react. So two seconds. Two seconds before we can apply the brakes. If, they, if this guy slams the brakes, you're not going to be able to stop in time for total stopping distance. It's not going to be good enough, guys. So we're looking for space cushions. Not a good space cushion. Our escape paths. We got some escape paths, but we got to work real quick within that space cushion. How's our line of sight? Can you see what's ahead of this vehicle? No. So let's take a look at this over here. Let's keep going. 
now, now it's our line of sight. Much better. Space cushion's not good. Escape path now. We gotta swerve really far over here, but we still have this. That's the cool thing about motorcycles, right? But all he has to do is kind of do that a little bit and you're off on the road or off road. Okay. Remember, we're continuously changing our position for safety based off of everything. Space cushions are terrible. Line of sight's pretty good. You can see really far. Uh, escape route, you got one. Okay, so when you start seeing this, when you're riding or driving, this is a good opportunity for you to move yourself. Okay, brake checking. Now we realize we need a better space cushion and everything. Okay, position for safety. Great uh, vision, so great line of sight. Space cushion's not the best. Uh, escape route is straight ahead. So if this person slams the brakes and they're going basically going like that, we could just continue going straight and we won't hit them. So it's a good escape path. We also have an escape path to the right. So that's pretty good, right? Okay. So head check, very good. Now take a look at this. Space cushion, right? Space cushion is way up here and here. Escape path, can't really swerve left. We can swerve right though. Okay, so we could do that. Uh, line of sight, same thing, really good. We are staggered with this vehicle. I still want to be a little bit, you know, more or be ahead of them. But uh, this is where we should be. So out of all those positions we kind of went over on this, this is the one. This is the one. And then right now, not good. Right now, even better. Don't get in front, though. All right, what do we got here? We got a corner coming up. Looks like a wet road. We have a guy passing. Is this a two-lane road or a one-way road? What's going on here? Cuts in front because traffic may be coming up. Okay. Things happen. Not a big deal. That's why you talk uh, to each other on your car pack talks. Link in the description for discounts. It's an affiliate link. Help support. Oh, that person decided to go. Ah, don't do that. Don't be, okay, this, maybe, tight turns. This is where you practice your tight turns. I think that was a good opportunity to practice. See, always look at the, the bittersweet part of this, okay? So it's a green. Yeah, they're not supposed to be blocking the intersection, but let's not get up on them. Because if the goal is to get around them, look how much room we have to work with. So this is just a regular turn. It's not a tight turn yet. It's not a tight turn yet. But we're going to get up to here. Now we, if we want to do anything, we got to do a tight turn. So practice your tight turns, guys. Don't don't rev bomb. How you doing, Brady? 82, how you doing? Yeah, the road looks terrible. The road looks terrible. East, 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 east. East, east, talk to each other. Oh! He went through the gore area. Oh, hit the curb. Oh, he kept it up? Ooh, you want to check your rim. Cody! Cody! Why is, why is Cody taking off? Comms got disconnected. Safe. Yo, you good, bro? Holy shit. Yeah, check your rim because that would have done some damage. I would have checked oh it God, bro. Are you okay? on an exit, not while we're still uh, here. Okay, hold on. Oof. Yeah, suspension probably got damaged. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yep. Yeah, you gotta get a new front rim. Yep. Oh, it's like. <laughs> Never mind. I was gonna say it's like it's like women hitting curbs. It's like, oh, what happened? Not a big deal. Cars demolished. Um, this is why we talk on our cardos. Okay, the car, the pack talk edges, bolds, all that stuff. They have really good long distance, really good. It's dynamic mesh. It'll reconnect and all that stuff. East, east, east. So he's saying east. It's like. Well, I would just say left. Go left. <laughs> left at the... Cody! Cody! That sucks. There's the new rim right there. Ugh. You gotta get a new front rim. All right, here we go. Oh, what are some hazards here? Okay, what are some things that we gotta watch out for, right? What are some things we gotta watch out for? So our braking distance, our total stopping distance is gonna be increased because of the lower traction and you want to be a little bit slower on the progressive braking. Possible oil in the middle of the lane. 
Thankfully, we're going to slide it out just a little bit. I was yeah. out for a ride when this happened. I can't stand the TikTok boys. What do we got here? Real nice. Thank you. Uh, Have a great day. What? I was fully expecting him to hit the kill switch, but... Just give it a little blip of the throttle. When that happens, just give it a blip of the throttle. Real nice. Thank Whoa. Look at that. Look at that. Remember, guys, the Saturday Scrambler? I'm going to take my Harley off-road. Like, I'm, I'm thinking of this right here. Hey, give it a little brown stage. Look at that. That looks like fun. Are we on a street bike, though? Are we on a street bike? Because we're going to have some traction issues with this gravel. Yeah, it's a street bike. We can still make it happen. No, no, sto bene, sto bene. So with with this, just take it nice and easy. Grazie. Um, when we do slow speed maneuvers in the parking lot, we have a lot of traction, so we can do a lot of counterbalancing. But out here, you want to stay upright as best as possible. Use that rear brake and go as slow as possible, especially on the turns. Thanks for watching till the end. Oh, you're welcome, Moto Stars. Thank you for uh, for posting some good videos. But uh, yeah, guys, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys later.